So the photo challenge has started. Um, got a few ideas. Um, there wasn't actually any rules specified with this, but I'm going to do a, a photo composite. So I'm gonna put two photos together and uh, do some creative lighting, put an image uh, that I've got off the internet and you'll see, check this out. All right, what is going on guys? I'm Jason, obviously Amber and Azalea is here. We've got another photo challenge for you guys. So today we're actually going to do product photography. So this one's gonna be a little bit interesting because we're gonna be confined in this space. We've got a time challenge and I've also got a challenge because I'm using the Osmo Pocket for photography. Amber's gonna be using the A6000 and a nice prime lens. So she's got obviously the upper hands on me. So this is gonna be a very tough challenge. Yeah, I don't know much though about photography as well. So. We'll see what happens, we'll see what you can do. But this is what we're doing the photography of. So this is old school scales. I don't know what it is, Birmingham, WNT, Averly, Aval, Aval, Avery, Avery, Averill, oh, D. Oh. So we have exactly 20 minutes each to complete our task of taking the photo. Now, Amber obviously has to go into the room um, so she can't see what I'm doing. The rules are not removing the object and no adding objects. This is the difficult thing. I'm gonna use this C stand and I'm gonna mount one of these lights on it. This is the Iwata Genius light. So this is an RGB light. This can change to whatever color I want. I think I'm gonna go the whole teal and orange look. So orange in the background, teal for the main subject on top. I'm gonna to have a key light on one section. So it took five minutes to set up the lighting for me as I had to do a composite photo. So I needed pretty much another tripod uh, to, to get the Osmo Pocket on. 15 minutes. All right, 15 minutes. 15 minutes to go. Gonna head out to the car and get that mount. Could be in this camera bag. It is right here. So I got the Ulanzi case for the Osmo Pocket. Strike the Osmo Pocket on. Let's get this competition rolling. So I got it done with five minutes to spare. Um, I didn't think it would take that long. Um, I thought it'd be a lot quicker than that. But now it's Amber's turn. Now the problem is, uh, obviously I had to use the Osmo Pocket. She gets to use the, uh, the Sony A6000 with whatever lens we've got. The only issue is, I'm a professional photographer. She's a paramedic, she's not a professional photographer, so this is a disadvantage here. Yeah, I really don't know what I'm doing in regards to photography. I know a few little things that Jason has taught me in the past, but um, nothing much really, so I sort of was winging it. And she decided to shoot manual. Yeah. You have a choice. You have a choice of the 16mm 1.4, quite wide. 18 to 135, so you got a zoom lens. You've got a 30 mil 1.4, 50 millimeter 1.8, or just a kit lens 16 to 50. That's your camera. Cool. I'm gonna, well, I don't really freaking know, so I'm just guessing, aren't I? Let's go this because I can zoom and. She's chosen. <laughs> YOLO. The 18 to 135. All right, the Iwater GL01 and 03. You've got the RGB light, so that one changes red, green, blue, cool. whichever color. This one's just your tungsten and daylight. Cheeky link is in the description below if you want to check out these small lights. Okay. Timer starts. Boom. Do, 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 do. Now. Let's go. So 
So we both completed our photos and so the way it's gonna work is I'll edit my own, do whatever I need to do to produce the final product and I'll edit Amber's as well. So she's got 100% creative choices over uh, what she is doing with the Photoshopping and Lightroom. All I needed to do is do whatever she tells me to do and I'll edit it for her. That's probably the one big disadvantage with this is that she's never done editing before. Yeah, so I don't really know the settings or I, I don't really know, I guess more, it's I don't really know what I can do, like what my limits are, you know what I mean? Like. I have no idea anything about it, so I'm sort of guessing, other than like filtering and light, etc. I really had no idea what I could do. So one of the tough tasks that I had to do is that I had to do a lot of photoshopping to remove the lights. I had to remove the light stand, I had to remove the curtain, um, and then I obviously had to put two photos together and uh, make it look realistic. So that was pretty difficult. Um, and yeah, it was it was uh, it was definitely a tough task for me to do with photoshopping. So once we got to the end, Amber's before photo looked like this, and her after photo looked like this. And my photo beforehand looked like this, and the after looked like this. Now it was up to Instagrammers and our Facebook followers to decide who will take it out. So we didn't want to disclose who did what photo. They were edited very similar in terms of style, um, but it was just come down to who preferred what color and what sort of, I suppose, creative style. style. Like yeah, yeah, it was it's very subjective. Obviously, photography and art is very subjective. So we actually didn't know who was going to win. It was really close. Um, but the scores came in, we had 201 people voted, which, thank you, that was uh, more than last time of the pumpkin challenge. So that was through uh, Instagram and Facebook. Yeah. And the winner is... I won. So they chose mine. 119 chose mine and 82 chose Amber's. So that was actually quite close. It was it was really close, um, especially on my uh, Jason Morris Photo Cinema Instagram. It was it was a tie, um, but on my main Instagram and Amber's Instagram, I took it out. Facebook was very close as well. Um, but yeah, it just came down to our main Instagrams. Thank you to everyone who uh, participated in voting. Um, we want to do more of this. If you have any particular cool styles. Yeah, hit us up. Like, we love a challenge. Next one I'll probably win since uh, these last two have been rigged. We'll see. <laughs> Comment below. We want to see if you guys have any suggestions with the next challenge. We love doing this. I do want to make this a permanent thing for my channel. Maybe once a month. Amber does go back to work um, after six months off with this bubba. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, hit that like button. That would be much appreciated. Comment below, like I said, if you do have any suggestions with the next challenge. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Subscribe to Amber's YouTube channel. The link is in the description below. Other than that, guys, my name's Jason Morris, Amber, and Azalea. We'll see you guys in the next video. See you guys. All right, let's get it.